I haven't been having much luck with rats this last while. Maybe it's with all this mild wet weather we've been having. But I did notice a lot of rat dung in the corner of this shed that the farmer keeps a lot of grain in, which he processes into animal feeds. And it's obvious where the rats is coming from, through these damaged pieces of tin from the shed next door. So I decided to sit up one night and see if I could get any. And I baited the corner with some nice sticky cooked chocolate paste. Unfortunately though, except for a few tantalising views of them, the night didn't really amount to much. I admit I should have made more of this opportunity here. As the little rat kept grabbing stuff and running back out the door. But the rest of them seemed to realise if they ventured much further out from the protection of that tin, they'd be in trouble. But I did manage to get a few rats hunting around the yard and one or two farms over two or three nights. So I'll show you that footage now. This rat here is only about 20 yards away. And I take it with a nice headshot. And again, another one, just a wee bit further down the yard. It was quite a still night, and every time I breathed out, it seemed to float across the uh, lens of the scope, giving you a bit of a white, foggy flash. This fella seems quite brave, heading out in the middle of the yard. The cats mustn't be putting much fear into him. But I managed to take him with a heart and lung shot. I reload just in case I needed a second shot, but he was obviously on his way out. Another rat kept teasing me sitting in this crack here between a couple of pallets. There's not much room for the pellet but I could see his eye. So I decided to take a chance and see if I could uh, thread a pellet in through there into the brain and hit the pallet. Oh well, you can't win them all. Back in one of the bullock houses here there seems to be quite a few rats running around the silage looking for whatever meal has been mixed in with it. And I take this youngster off the wall. Reload. And follow the second one on the ground. Hoping that he'd pause just before he disappeared. But no such luck. Later on I get another opportunity. and take them cleanly. Now this rat's only about 10 yards away. They come out of that hole in the wall there from the uh, slurry tank below the cattle. Well they not be heading back down that hole again. Back in the bullock house again. I just keep moving around taking a rat here and there where I can find them. Now this rat's that close the scope wouldn't even focus down to it so it must be just under 10 yards. Again this was shot over two or three different nights uh, on a couple of different farms. Again another rat inside a, a mess of scrap. Now that pellet had to go from nose to tail all the way through that rat but he still managed to crawl back up into that layer of scrap there. A little later a younger rat appears. And I take him too. 
I stayed at this point for a while as the rats seemed to like appearing in this particular spot. This one I've been watching for quite a while. He's playing hide and go seek. I take the shot but I think the pellet hits the pipe and ricochets before it ever hits the rat. Giving a total miss. Then this big fella, quite a bold rat, sitting just behind that ball. Again at about 20 yards. And I drop him nice and cleanly with a headshot. It's not much of a bag to brag about, but these are just some of the rats I shot the nights I was out.